Two seconds tops. <laughs> my my uh, dream was to have a dog. It's my own recipe. Because okay. my dad's an allergic <clears throat> and sneaking a ratus nevergica. A ratus nevergica. A, ra a rat. <laughs> what did you call it? Thomas Williams. <laughs> What's so funny about that? You're a genius. Genius. Why is that just a normal name? <laughs> Don't tell me. I bet you're the kitten. Bigger. A cat. Bigger. A beast cat. A pony, actually. Oh, I, bet I wasn't the only one to have a pony. Anyway, what did you have? Right, go on, Ruth. Out with it. First famous pet. Oh, I didn't really go in for pets. You also had one, one teensy weensy little one, a five-legged spider in a matchbox. Oh, shouldn't you lot be in cubicles? <laughs> uh, we're not allowed to start working until Adam gets here. Right, hold that. Mm. Oh, look at me. What's this? Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Oh, perfect. Right. Down in one. Go on. Down in one. I'll see you later. Ruth, trust me. Ruth, touchy. Hi, Ruth. New ward admission. Uh, I just need to check before surgery. You better go. I only put it on one. Hurry up! I'll ring you lunchtime. And he needs his bottle. Switch off fluids for now. Neuro obs too early. Sorry, I'm late. Sorry. Mr. Haroon, berry aneurysm, clipped six days ago. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling like I want to go home. <laughs> You'll have to bear with us a little longer, I'm afraid. Dr. Winters, post-op medication, any problems? None. No, uh, Mr. Haroon is on a diuretic spironolactone and he's taking ACE inhibitors. I thought we changed that, didn't we? You have checked Mr. Haroon this morning. No, I was just about to do it now. Yeah. Dr. Winters will review your medication, and when she's ready, she can rejoin me on the ward rounds. Glad I'm not on the wrong side of hair. Mm. Okay, can you breathe in for me? And breathe out. Please, take this fruit away. Every time my wife comes in, more fruit. If I had scurvy, I'd be cured in a minute. Let's see what I can do. Take some. You look worse than me. Oh, thanks. Rushing about all hours, it's no wonder you look so drained. I'm just going to get a nurse to take some bloods, OK? It's a wonder I've got any left. Dr Winters, if you need a five-minute break, sit down with me. I'll be glad of the company, and uh, you can eat some of this. Maybe later. Oh, and Mr Hussein's doing theatre at two. He had some nausea, but it's under control with medical mind. Oh, listen, I'm really sorry that I was late this morning. I went into the UD and was called into an emergency. Have you checked up on Mr Cartwright's pre op -med? Yes, all in order. While I have every faith in you, not everyone will. It's hard for female surgeons, especially the junior ones. You won't have to match your competitors. You'll have to slaughter them. Don't let your guard down, OK? It's busy in that ward today. Wow, busy. Busy doesn't even cover it now. I don't know what they've all been doing. Well, I mean, I know what some of them have been doing. The, um, obviously, the girl who needs that, I can, uh, I can guess what she's been doing. But um, she is, she's very young, and uh, it's not an option for her to. Uh, thank you. Um, no doubt, I'll be back in a minute for something else. Hey, brother, how are you feeling? Listen, um, I don't think you're hungover. I know you're the big doctor and everything, but you only had two glasses of wine last night. No, I'm fine now, completely. Yeah, okay, but it could be bad. Yeah, no, it stopped. Honestly, it stopped. OK. Fine, whatever. Um, I got you this. Keep your strength up. I 
know what you like, for getting to eat and everything. Thank you. You're welcome. See you later. My baby! Thanks, Nick. He's going to be fine. No, just go home and I'll ring you. Raised intracranial pressure? It could be. Let's see what the CT says. OK, Tess, can you inform Mr Evans of the situation, please? It looks like I'm needed. Let me know when the results come down, yeah? yeah? What are you doing to my baby? Uh, we're just getting him ready for a scan. Um, we need to know how he fell and how far. Well, who are you? Sorry, I'm Dr Winters. Well, isn't he the main one? I want the main one back. If you could just tell me how he fell. I said! He was on the settee and I wasn't looking and he fell. Right, when did it happen? I don't know. Before you left for school, so that must have been what? Eight called apart? Why don't you sort him out instead of accusing Look, me? Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just need to know how long he's been like this. Do your job and sort my baby out. Listen. Chantel. A Chantel, a baby's skull is very delicate. The bone hasn't formed yet and I'm concerned that he has multiple bruises. Well, he will have. You would have if you fell. Who do you leave him with when you're at school? I'm not having that. You're not pulling that one. Was he left alone, Chantal? I wasn't going into school today, actually. When I got up and got ready, he was a bit sniffly. What, so was he ill before he fell? A bit, not much. It's important that we know. He wasn't. I thought he was, but he wasn't. Well, who's she ringing? I look after my son properly. It was an accident. Excuse me. I'm informing CT he's on his way. You weren't. I know what you're doing. Chantel. Tell the truth. Get out. I was carrying him up the stairs. I blacked out. And I fell. He's my son. The CT results should be back soon, but in any case, we'll need to keep him in for monitoring, so you might as well wait somewhere else. Look, I'm sorry for how I came across before. You must think I'm a right nutter. She couldn't help falling, you know. She, she didn't do it on purpose. I didn't suggest that she did. Accidents happen. Well, our doctor's given her antidepressants, but she won't take them. Maybe she should. Well, he dishes them out like sweets. Because he can't be bothered to find out what's wrong with her or because he's too th thick to work it out. Anyway, he's got her down as a nutter and she's too scared to see him. Last time she went, we got a visit from social services. So they'd monitor how she was coping. She's doing brilliant until now. Right, Dr. Winder's large extra dural. Let's get him upstairs. Okay. W what is it? He needs an operation, I'm afraid. Okay. Oh, what's happening? What does that mean? Sorry, who are you? I'm the mother. You're the mother. He's got an area of blood in his brain. We need to get him upstairs so we can remove it. Yeah, close call. Listen, the daughter's a wee bit fragile. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. He's not. Please tell me he's not. No, he's in recovery now. Oh, thank you. Sorry. I mean, he's all right, though. There won't be no damage or nothing. Well, obviously, we'll need to keep him in, but no, hopefully, nothing permanent. Sorry. We can cope with stuff, you know, but we couldn't cope with losing him. Well, you'll be able to see him soon, so why don't you... This is Mrs Murray. She's from Social Services. Well, what's she doing? You're not taking him. Are you two-faced cow? No, I didn't... I'd hoped there wouldn't be a performance. Mm. Yes, I rang them. Well, it's probably for the best. Yeah, it's absolutely for the best. She doesn't want their help, but she needs it, and so does their child. Mm. Anyway, on to the small matter of the surgeon's dinner on Tuesday. In my opinion, you're not the strongest candidate. You're the only candidate. This is the real Billy... Go away, you stupid woman. Listen, look, I've spoken to your social worker. 
I told her that lupus is something that can't be cured. Uh, and given her pulmonary edema, your mother will have to spend some time in ITU. But I also told them that when she's discharged, we can control her symptoms. I see no reason why, given the right support package, she can't look after you all at home. Baby included. Really? I've said that I'm willing to be a contact officer in case they need any more information. Ruth, why don't you take a break? Five minutes? Oh, I'm okay. No, I beg to differ. I'm fine. Sorry. Um, you know what? You're right. I'm. I'm. I'm not fine. But there's. There's something that I need to tell you. I did want to tell you before. Come on, babe. What is it? Mm. What? Another dinner? She so loves you. On your birthday as well, that's great, babe. Yeah. Well, check you out, Dr. Winters, soon to be surgeon. I'd like you to come with me. Ah, well, I'm not sure about that. I mean, um, I'm flattered and everything, but I don't think Dr. Fordren's quite ready to make another outing just yet. No, I meant as you. <laughs> All right. As me. Are you sure they're ready for us? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Well, I'll come to us tonight and we can celebrate properly. Okay. Mwah. Oh, so. Don't get stuck next to Dr. Owen. I shouldn't say this, but the man could bore for England. He'll talk at you all evening, not listen to a word you say. I'll try and talk to Dr. Plevin about her research on intracranial hypertension. Yeah, I will. OK? Back to the grind. Right, I'll, I'll see you out there. Quick point. 